Hello once again, everybody. We're visiting with Kurt Reiselt of Reiselt Machine Works. And Kurt, we want to first of all start off by asking you, what do we mean by uh, upfitting when we're talking about, for instance, trucks? Okay, custom truck upfitting is the business of changing the truck to meet the consumer's needs. That could be changing a from a cabin chassis body, uh, you know, putting on a service body, flatbed. Uh, what have you, box to meet that customer's individual need for their business. Uh, it, it could also be removing a existing bed uh, and putting on another bed of that nature uh, and also adding things such as snow plows, toolboxes, lighting accessories for safety reasons. Uh, so we do any and all that, any combination thereof to meet their individual vocational needs. I suppose if you're Donald Trump, you can spend all those big bucks in buying uh, really expensive trucks and not doing as much to change everything. But uh, most, uh, especially farmers and ranchers, aren't uh, uh, don't have those deep pockets. Right. How's the, uh, and I don't want to use the word cheap to lessen the importance or the quality of the end product, but how do uh, farmers save money by not going that route? Okay, well, we work with a lot of farmers, and our family is a farm family. Um, and uh, so we, we fully understand that. We work with brand new trucks. We also work with a lot of used trucks on farms. Um, very common for us would be a, a used pickup, maybe a 15 year old pickup that has a lot of value left in the cab, the engine and the chassis. With that being said, perhaps the bed is, is shot or near shot and uh, we can remove that bed and put on a bed that will fit that consumer's needs uh, whether it be a steel flatbed or something of this nature, you know, aluminum, uh, maybe a service body or anything, uh, that would save that farmer a lot of money. A new truck costs a lot more, but if he can keep that existing truck in service, absolutely, we're saving him a lot of money. Um, it's very hard to find an existing replacement bed, so we're selling a brand new product um, for not a whole lot more than an existing replacement bed and putting it on, doing a professional quality installation. So you're affecting uh, very positively that uh, farmer's bottom line. Most definitely, and we understand that bottom line because we come from the same background. We make a living the same way, uh, we're from a cattle family, and we respect that dollar. Now, how, how long has the uh, company been in business? I understand that the company is located in Radnor, uh, and I've been told that uh, you have responsibilities up a little farther north. Yes. Um, so the company's in Radnor, Ohio. My brother, Eric Reiselt, owns the company. Radnor's in Delaware County. Um, and uh, I live in Sandusky County, Ohio. I'm his outside sales rep. I help in any way I can, such as events like this. Um, and uh, but um, uh, So the company's been around, I'd say he's been out there about eight years, Radnor, on the family farm. And uh, it's a heat of pole barn where he does all the installs. These beds come from Oklahoma is where they're made. We're also a vendor for Scott Beds that does dump bodies. So we also do large trucks, grain trucks. Um, we work with contractors as well. So being able to convert uh, some trucks that might, uh, uh, for that particular farmer, might not have a use or as much of a use anymore, uh, you can convert uh, to something else that he could use every day. Most definitely. And um, for example, a lot of customers are coming to us in the heavier truck segment, the medium trucks, uh, a used box truck will be brought to us to have the frame shortened, which we specialize in, um, and uh, we'll have the drive line rebalanced and uh, axles moved up. And that could be made into a dump truck. Um, it could be used for grain. It could be used for anything. Uh, it would suit that farmer very well. Well, Kurt, what's the best way for folks to get in touch with either you or, or your brother or, or contact your company? Okay, uh, we are on Facebook at Truck Bed Man, Rice Seltz Machine Works, and, uh, and uh, also our phone number, 419-202-1488. Uh, uh, you can Google us, too. Very good. Our guest has been Kurt Rice. Thanks for being with us, Kurt. Yep, thank you. And stay with us back with more right after this. The Keepin' It Country Farm is a private venue hosting traditional country music. It also offers a dinner theater setting, perfect for your next event. The Keepin' It Country Farm, it's home of the Richard Lynch Band. And for more information about the Keepin' It Country Farm, the Richard Lynch Band, Lynch Auctioneers, Lynch Builders, and Farm Products, check us out on the web at keepinitcountryfarm.com. That's keepinitcountryfarm.com.
Do you want the most boastful garden and veggies on the block? Bull Country Compost is a high nutrient soil amendment with no fillers. Our compost begins with all natural products heated to kill bacteria, weed seeds, and odor. Bull Country Compost is approved for use in organic food production by the Ohio Ecological Food and Farm Association. If you are a business interested in wholesale rates for our products or a consumer wanting to know where to find our products, visit bullcountrycompost.com. For a more boastful garden, spread the bowl. Welcome to the 30-second tour of your local poet plant. Local producers sell us tons of their grain. We grind it, mix it with water and special enzymes. The result is fermented, distilled, and dehydrated until it's 200 proof alcohol. Corn oil is extracted, and protein and nutrients are condensed, dried, and turned into animal feed. Bringing our tour to an end with high protein feed and cleaner burning high octane fuel. Visit Poet.com to learn more. Automate your existing sliding doors with Propel Automation of Ohio. Automate up to 60-foot twin sliding shed or barn doors with their award-winning patented system. And now Propel Automation of Ohio is part of Ohio AgriBility Program, allowing Ohio farmers and farm families who are coping with disabilities or long-term health conditions to automate their doors. For security, safety, convenience, remember Propel Automation of Ohio. Check us out on the web at PropelOhio.com. I'm Terry McClure, a fifth generation soybean farmer. Farming can be tough, but we have the Ohio Soybean Council investing farmers' dollars to find new uses for soybeans. Their research helps develop better beans for livestock, poultry, and for people. It also helps create new products like soy based cleaning supplies and ink cartridges. Plus, cleaner burning soy biodiesel reduces our dependence on foreign oil. Soybeans are Ohio's number one agricultural export. To learn more, visit soyohio.org. Allen Davis Insurance Agency, with 30 years commitment to the community, providing quality insurance services. Allen is a business owner and an active farmer, and he knows firsthand the pressures of running your farming operation. Call Allen today and ask about coverage for your farm, your vehicles, your equipment, crops, and more. Call 1-800-686-2148. That's 1-800-686-2148. Hello once again, everybody. We're at the Ohio Beef Expo, and I'm visiting with Matt Damschroeder. Matt is the assistant store manager at JD Equipment in Lancaster. Uh, first of all, Matt, thanks for being with us. Tell us a little bit about uh, the wide swath that JD Equipment has, because I know they have more stores than just the one at Lancaster. Oh, well, thank you. Um, yes, we do. Um, we encompass um, everything from Wilmington, Ohio. We have a store over there, all the way over to Zanesville. And as far north as Marion, uh, we actually have eight stores in central Ohio. Um, two around Columbus, one in New Albany, one in Hilliard, that are just uh, lawn and garden stores, and then six other stores um, around from Marion, London, Wilmington, Washington Courthouse, Lancaster, and Zanesville that serve as lawn and garden and agricultural stores, uh, and um, commercial uh, CWP equipment such as skid steers, mini excavators, things like that. The equipment industry has just grown, um, kind of exploded. We do a lot. I mean. Um, a lot of residential stuff, a lot of compact utility tractors, uh, zero-turn mowers, that's a huge thing. Um, still lawn tractors, um, and then a lot of um, tractors like the one si behind me here, 75-horse utility tractor, um, and all the way up through, you know, large 600-horse tractors and combines. And uh, We carry a lot of different specialized equipment, whether it's um, is, you know, like just mainly utility tractors or uh, compact utility tractors for a lot of hobby, hobby farmers, but also different things such as um, maybe different manure spreaders, um, um, different uh, size rotary cutters, and it's just a large array. depends on what that um, person on their hobby farm is going to, whether it could be goats, sheep, cattle, horses, and it's just we try to work with those customers and uh, put different things together. You know, Matt, uh, with uh, changes in agriculture and computerization uh, just hitting all facets of, of our economy and, and all kinds of industries, uh, farming and agriculture, John Deere has uh, followed along, and today uh, with precision agriculture, farmers can uh, do an awful lot to affect that bottom line. Uh, yes, yeah, so right now, I mean, in the agricultural industry, a lot of stuff is what we consider precision agriculture. Um, computerized, we look at um, how to put the um, least amount of inputs in to get the most amount of outputs. Um, so as far as um, we're not 
um, having skips in our corn rows. That's a combination of uh, soil sampling, uh, getting that kind of information and inputting that into the computer. Uh, also a combination of uh, tracking yields per acre, actually yields per square foot in, in some cases, finding out exactly what kind of yield you're getting at harvest and combining all of that and then the next year, the next spring when you're planting, uh, you know how much possibly how much fertilizer to put in to uh, maybe not overdo it and again that affects your bottom line. So computers and, and all of that, it, it affects the bottom line so much more today than ever before. Oh yeah, um, especially when it does come to using uh, harvest yield data, um, bringing that um, then writing prescriptions, doing soil samples, writing prescriptions for planting and for utilizing different fertilizers um, in different areas of the field. I mean, because it's going to change across the field. So that's where precision agriculture, we can go and write a prescription and change what they're putting down throughout that field. And it's not all one rate. Um, so we're, we're focusing um, and working on that and really what works in each area. And while that might be uh, more in tune to uh, some very large operations, uh, you also have uh, the equipment for maybe some hobby farmers and, and uh, people just starting out. Maybe some uh, operations that have livestock on them. And I was curious to uh, see some livestock handling equipment here at, at, this, exp at this display here today. Uh, yes, we, I mean, we carry everything, um, you know, a full line of prefer ranch equipment from, you know, for cattle people, um, as far as squeeze chutes, um, different handling equipment of that, a lot of um, pens for horses, um, round pens, um, horse stalls, feeders, a whole array of uh, equipment like that that really start, I mean, start picking up and doing a lot of that stuff. Let me ask you, uh, I always like to look either back at the past or ahead to the future, and uh, what kind of young people are getting involved in in some of the operations, or, or a lot of the and I use the word kids because everybody's a kid to me almost. Uh, how many of the kids are staying home on the farm and, and have that desire to stay home? You know, that's it's all over. I mean, we have some, a lot of farms that have uh, the younger generation or the next generation uh, staying there, helping out, working. A lot of them, they may go and work off the farm for a while, help out part-time, and then come back and, and, and years down the road and, and and work on taking over the operation. It's just really, it just really varies on what that is and what, what's capable in that area. Matt, if folks uh, that have been watching us uh, would have some more questions of you or possibly uh, questions of their local John Deere dealer, what's the best way for them to get involved? Well, um, you know, if you have questions, you can always um, get onto our website, which is just jdequipment.com. Um, see all the different products and services that we have to offer. Um, and then they can also um, contact any of our stores, which are, all the phone numbers are on the website, um, and what their local, their closest local store is. Very good. Matt Damschroeder has been our guest. He's the assistant manager of the Lancaster store. Matt, thanks for being with us. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks for having me. And stay with us. Back with more right after this. Automate your existing sliding doors with Propel Automation of Ohio. Automate up to 60-foot twin sliding shed or barn doors with their award-winning patented system. And now Propel Automation of Ohio is part of Ohio AgriBility Program, allowing Ohio farmers and farm families who are coping with disabilities or long-term health conditions to automate their doors. For security, safety, convenience, remember Propel Automation of Ohio. Check us out on the web at PropelOhio.com. The Keepin' It Country Farm is a private venue hosting traditional country music. It also offers a dinner theater setting, perfect for your next event. The Keepin' It Country Farm is home of the Richard Lynch Band. And for more information about the Keepin' It Country Farm, the Richard Lynch Band, Lynch Auctioneers, Lynch Builders, and Farm Products, check us out on the web at keepinitcountryfarm.com. That's keepinitcountryfarm.com. At Bambauer Fertilizer and Seed, we utilize small plot trials with third-party testing at our research center. These local trials help us to test new products, cultural practices, and ideas. Our goal is to utilize this information to support recommendations we make for your farm, bringing you the highest return for your investment. Explore the opportunities third-party research from Bambauers can bring to your farming operation. Call 
888-MAX-CROP. Welcome back to In Ohio Country today. With me, I have uh, John Smith with the Ohio State University Extension. And uh, we're in uh, lovely Moulton, Ohio, at the Moulton Gun Club. And there's an event going on today, John, that um, a lot of people don't connect Extension and 4-H with. And uh, you want to tell us a little bit about the program that, that you oversee and what's, you know, as it's available on a whole, on a statewide basis. Yeah. All right, this is our annual family and outdoor skills day. We have a lot of families come in, bring the little kids, the big kids, everybody. Uh, and we teach archery, shotgun, and rifle, 22 rifle. We have three police that teach the rifle. We have expert uh, shotgun on, on the shotguns. And I've been trained with 4-H uh, for our 4-H shooting sports in archery, shotgun, rifle, and pistol. So we have all trained uh, instructors here and we emphasize safety and that's our first concern is safety but everybody has a good time as long as the weather is good so. well you know and john what's what's interesting about this is typically when we talk about ohio state extension we talk about 4-h people think of livestock they think of maybe even oh sewing and cooking to some extent yeah. but they but this this program uh, you know that this program along with the boaters program is something that kids who don't grow up in the country have access to uh, you know those of us who have grew up in the country and had access to places to hunt and did a lot of that and fish and did a lot of that ourselves this is a unique program and that uh, that it helps kids who don't have that access that's right the 4-H shooting sports program is actually the fastest growing program in 4-H today. And it's only about 10 years old, but it is growing rapidly. We have about 19 students in our club, and we're the only club in all Glaze County. But this is it pulls together outsiders that do not get into 4-H and not used to being in 4-H. It is not particularly a 4-H program, but anybody can register and come. This is a uh, combination of extension, the gun club, uh, the uh, sheriff's department, the uh, natural resource uh, outdoor program. They give us a grant that put, really puts us on. You know, when we're talking about, uh, you made mention that it's a co collaborative effort. Uh, and, and that, but this is a 4-H club that, that does, the, that, and, and it, the kids learn not only about shooting and everything, but the 4-H principles as well. Well, that's true, yes. Yeah, we emphasize 4-H principles as well as safety. You know, we're, we're, I guess we bug them on safety. Uh, with me, I have Mike Everly. Uh, Mike is teaching some skills. We've talked earlier with John Smith about some of the skills they were teaching um, as far as archery and, and trap shooting. Uh, Mike's down here on the rifle range uh, teaching some skills. Mike, you want to kind of tell us what's going on down here and, and some of the specific skills and things that you do down here? Uh, you know, we have different stations. This, of course, is the rifle. And uh, the kids come down, we show them how to do the sight picture, the sight alignment things like that. Um, the biggest thing we stress is the gun safety, muzzle pointed in a safe direction, finger off the trigger, all the fundamentals of, of gun safety. Uh, we let them shoot different positions, standing, kneeling, uh, prone, and they have a good time. You know, when you're talking about safety, I mean, obviously where you point the gun is important, but there are there is equipment that you should really should be having as well. Right, all the kids are issued a set of earplugs, uh, and eye protection, uh, sunblock today is important, but ears and eyes is the big thing to protect too. Well, and obviously you, you, you know, in your your line of work, you you shoot guns quite often, right. and, and you uh, actually have some pretty high tech ear protection. Now. Yeah, these are uh, electronic. Uh, you can actually wear them while nobody's shooting, and you can have the volume up so you can hear somebody talk. Yeah. So, uh, and you know, is what are the ages we have kids and stuff down here? Uh, I had a six-year-old earlier, and I think we've had a one that I had was 14. So they, it's a pretty good range of kids. John, you know, you talked about emphasizing safety. Uh, what are some of the things and some of the equipment that people have, and, and how do you keep yourself safe? We have to have the, everybody has shooting glasses. The ones that are shooting shotgun and rifle, 
have to have the ear plugs. That way we don't destroy our hearing. But, uh, and when they're shooting shotgun and rifle and archery, always go down range. You never point a gun or a loaded bow round towards people. It's always down range. John, if somebody wanted to find out a little more information about this program, uh, and, and maybe even the boaters program, where could they go? Well, they could go to our, uh, right to our office, or call our office, 419-738-2219, or to allglazeshootingsports.org. John, thanks for being with us. Thank you. We'll be back with more in Ohio country today, right after this. Allen Davis Insurance Agency, with 30 years commitment to the community, providing quality insurance services. Allen is a business owner and an active farmer, and he knows firsthand the pressures of running your farming operation. Call Allen today and ask about coverage for your farm, your vehicles, your equipment, crops, and more. Call 1-800-686-2148. That's 1-800-686-2148. The Keepin' It Country Farm is a private venue hosting traditional country music. It also offers a dinner theater setting, perfect for your next event. The Keepin' It Country Farm is home of the Richard Lynch Band. And for more information about the Keepin' It Country Farm, the Richard Lynch Band, Lynch Auctioneers, Lynch Builders, and Farm Products, check us out on the web at keepinitcountryfarm.com. That's keepinitcountryfarm.com. Hello once again, everybody. We're at the Ohio Beef Expo at Rod's Western Palace exhibit, and we're visiting with Clayton Fisher. Clayton is the manager of Rod's, and uh, first of all, Clayton, we're glad to have you with us. Uh, understand that you do have an agricultural background. Yes, sir. Um, I've grown up on a horse farm in Cardington, Ohio, that my grandparents own, and I've helped them operate it for my entire life, and my family's been very involved as far as my parents, grandparents, cousins, aunts and uncles, so. Well, we, we're here at Rod's uh, Western Palace exhibit, and uh, you probably worn uh, many of the styles here that, that are being exhibited. Yes, sir. I, uh, um, a lot of our Wrangler jeans like that I have on and stuff are out in our trailer. Um, our Twisted X shoes here, they've been one of the most popular things among livestock, horse people, everywhere among, among the industries, but uh, and then mainly a lot of shirts that I get to wear are scent shirts. Uh, you can find those at the store, online. Here we have a few of them behind us. Um, a lot of this product, you can get some of the best deals here at Rod's. Um, we run sales all throughout the year. Um, we have a lot of work apparel too. Um, we have any type of work boot that you can think of. Um, we have Justin work boots, Ariat work boots, Caterpillar, uh, Wolverine. All different kinds so you can use all that we have all the carhartt gear so you never know in ohio whether it's going to be 70 degrees one day or if it's going to be in the negatives the next you just don't know so we have all all workwear that's insulated and keeps you warm and protect you so you know too uh i know throughout the years uh those uh the equipment that uh people on the ranch on the farm use in a day to day basis uh for instance saddles uh uh, chaps, uh, uh, hats, uh, like you're wearing now, yes. uh, on a work, now that's a pretty fancy hat that you're wearing, but uh, the work hats, that, that they have a, a certain kind of uh, uh, responsibility for the wearer. For instance, uh, some of those wide brim hats on a hot day protect you from uh, a Sun. lot of sunburn and, and, yes. and that, and then also inclement weather as well. Yeah, um, our straw hats are most common for work wear just because when you're working, you're starting to get hot, and it lets, allows your head to breathe. These felt hats kind of keep you nice and warm. They're more for, like, the dress and when you're going out showing, stuff like that. But the straw hats, yeah, they're real important, especially working out there, especially if you're doing something like baling hay, fixing fence lines, doing whatever. Uh, protects you from the sun. You don't want your ears to get burned, so right. helpful. It'll cover a little more than a ball cap does. So Now, Rod's Western Palace is... Uh not too far from where we're standing right now, we're at the Ohio Fairgrounds, the Ohio Expo Center, but Rod's Western Palace has, uh, for many years, had a location very close to here. Yeah, Rod's has been there for 40 years now. Um, we just celebrated our 40 years at the Quarter Horse Congress. It's actually just two exits north of the fairgrounds, so it's right off of Weber, and if you turn left, um, you'll be there at the stoplight, and it's right there on the right on Silver Drive, so... 
can make your way real close. It's been, always been beneficial for the Ohio Expo Center with us being so close for many events that we do here. Well, now I know too that uh, with uh, the advances that we've made with technology and over the years that uh, you have to have a pretty good website. Yes, we do. Um, we just recently, um, this past year, uh, completely redid our website, so it's a lot more user-friendly. Um, there's all the different categories. Everything can be ordered. Everything that you see in our store can also be ordered online, so it's one of our biggest sellers is having that online website, so it's just rods.com. Uh, Clayton Fisher has been our guest. Clayton, really good to talk to you. Thanks for being with us. It was good talking to you, sir. Give your crops maximum potential with Full Throttle On Seed Starter. Full Throttle is an economically priced low salt starter, efficiently providing nutrients for rapid early growth, critical for yield development. Utilizing the patented Avail technology, Full Throttle helps develop larger, more vigorous plants during the critical early growing stages. Call 888-MAX-CROP today to learn more about Full Throttle. That's 888-MAX-CROP. I'm Terry McClure, a fifth generation soybean farmer. Farming can be tough, but we have the Ohio Soybean Council investing farmers dollars to find new uses for soybeans. Their research helps develop better beans for livestock, poultry, and for people. It also helps create new products like soy-based cleaning supplies and ink cartridges, plus cleaner burning soy biodiesel reduces our dependence on foreign oil. Soybeans are Ohio's number one agricultural export. To learn more, visit SoyOhio.org. Hey, and that's going to do it for this week's edition of In Ohio Country Today. For more information, check us out on the web at inohiocountry.com. That's inohiocountry.com. Have a good day, everybody.